Well, welcome back everybody, Smith here, and welcome back to the third part of the Jurassic Craft version 2 dinosaurs. There are so many dinosaurs, it took me over two episodes. In this one, we are looking at uh, some of the remaining Jurassic World dinosaurs, Velociraptors, and the famous Irex. So let's, without further ado, get into it and go and have a look at them all. Aha! Stegosaurus Armatus. Stegosaurus. These are new Stegosaurus. I think they've now crisscrossed the tail fins on these. I know they have got them, but they've got this crisscross across the back, uh, which makes them look ultra cool. And they've toned down some of the coloration. We've got the female brown one and the male green one with more brown rather than bright red. I call them tail fins anyway. Yeah, they're, they're a bit different to say the, say the least. Uh, right, what's next? We must be getting for a few now. Uh, right, so let's have a look. Oh yes, Sucumimus. Uh This is uh, very similar to the previous one. That's uh, the one here, the Spinosaurus, but it's a bit smaller. Sucumimus. Uh, it was supposed to be, we believed, was going to be in Jurassic World, but never appeared. Uh, we saw pictures of it rendered. Uh, previously, but we never actually saw a Sucumimus. No, we didn't. Uh, but again, lots of really, this is similar to one we've seen earlier on in the other video. Really cool features here. Lots and lots of them here and here. Uh, lots of, look at that. Fantastic that. I really like that. That is really cool. With long mouth and long teeth. Aha! The new Triceratops. Yeah, more brown. Uh, they've also look. You've got these curved. They've now introduced the curved, uh, curved head, and these are much more, uh, much more refined compared with the present Triceratops, nine meters, pretty big beast, and also the horns as well are almost like horns and horn shape where they weren't before, on the uh, previous one. Right here we go. Hey, the Trudon, uh, three meter, small, lots of little fine feathers. I uh, don't know what's happened to it. was the eye, large eyes, maybe it's just not finished, maybe the eyes should have been on there but it isn't, uh, but again lovely coloration of the female and male to say that it shows the difference. Right, Tyrannosaurus Rex, you have seen this, uh, we've got it on our world, uh, slightly 12 meters long and you have seen this before and it's really cool with loads of uh, animations as well superior sense of smell well there we go right well that means we're coming up to some of the cool ones right this is the uteraptor look at this look at this fantastic bigger than the uh, velociraptor fantastic eyes here look at the quality of these eyes got these elongated natural eyes here uh, and They've got these tail, well, quills, really fine quills. Uh, the male's got loads all the way down the back, really fine teeth. And you've got quills on the arms as well. Uh, the female hasn't got as many, uh, less quills. But again, look at that eye, really cool eyes. I hope they do some more of the eyes like this, because I think this is a new thing. It's one of the more up-to-date ones. Uh, I think this is one of their, their favourite new uh, dinos, uh, killing claws, yeah it's got the killing claws there. So this will bring us on neatly to the Velociraptors. Yeah absolutely. And Velociraptor Blue, here we go. This is a super duper Velociraptor, it's got all the markings of blue from uh, Jurassic World and a really cool eye, look at that cool eye which is a very similar colour to the movie. It's got the killing claw which is there, four meters in length, so it's not as big as the uh, Uteraptor because that's the big one. Uh, but it's got highly evolved brain, they said. Uh, it was pretty cool and hunted in packs. And it got the little claws at the front here for slashing prey. So, uh, yeah, looking looking really cool there. So let's kind of have a look at another Velociraptor. Charlie! Yeah! Good old Charlie. Uh, you can see the difference. I mean, that's just a this is a better definition one. Uh, same model used, they've just used different colouring uh, for the body. It looks makes it look like Charlie, four metres long. So it's all Jurassic World. Aha, Delta. Now it's interesting, they have really different. In the movie, you couldn't, there was a two that you couldn't tell, but this Delta one is fantastic. Uh, really dark. Uh, and I love the fact that 
someone these people have spent so much time look at this you guys if you're watching from Jurassic Craft you have spent hours and hours and hours of work I don't think people appreciate the amount of time and effort it goes into making these uh, I've been at the kids have the lovely thing of seeing some of the uh, base models and then uh, like a month later or a few weeks later seeing it with all the colors on uh, which is uh, you guys I don't think people just pick the mod up download it and play it and people don't appreciate as much how much work and effort goes into this and you're not getting paid for it guys I know it's free so this is pretty good right here we go next one it's a wild one a wild velociraptor so let's have a look there we go it's very similar to Charlie in terms of coloration but it is it has been made different same eyes uh, but again just slightly different coloration look at these these arms actually sort of not just square they sort of move from side to side as well so can't wait to see the new uh, animation on that ha ha another velociraptor this is slightly bigger this is a four meter one that's a four meter one they're all four meters yeah so but this is quite colorful in terms of the male and is that sitting differently yeah it is sitting different it's a different shape as well it's more sort of a uh sort of bigger not as lightweight as this this other one and you notice in jurassic world they're quite wide but i'm glad to say jurassic craft haven't made those dead wide velociraptors i think that was looked a bit ungainly when they were chasing the vehicle uh, so there we go what else have we got echo echo uh very similar colors but again you can see the effort gone into the coloration because echo did have these sort of bluishy greeny stripy bits on the side uh, definitely so there is echo right uh, i know at some point uh, we are going to get something big and violent and i think it might be the next one Ooh, whoa that's a bright one after that here we go guys all right let's have a look at this this is Indominus Rex. Uh, I have seen this uh, in the uh, previously. It's a red eye. Uh, you can see here the head, protective ridges uh, from Tyrannosaurus DNA. We've got the large eye crest from the uh, Carnotaurus DNA. So that's from the Carnotaurus. That's from the Tyrannosaurus. And this has taken a lot of effort and time to do this. Uh, get Gigantosaurus like head from the Gigantosaurus and the head shortened by the Majunctosaurus DNA. Uh, so you can see how much effort it's gone on this, the bits and pieces they've got. And you can see the different heads, it's hybridized uh, from these, including blue, of course. First glance, the Dominus most closely resembles T-Rex, but its distinct head uh, orientation from the Uta tough bone uh, can be traced back from the theropods known as Albertosaurus. Indominus horns have been placed above the eye. Uh, genetic material hybridized Carnotaurus, Majunctosaurus, uh, Rhygops, it is Rhygops rather than Rugops, and Gigantosaurus, fearsome indeed. Uh, so let's have a look at what else we got. Uh, I'm quite looking forward, uh, of course it's female, and we're having a male one as well. Well they're all female aren't they? I know it's pretty good they're doing, they've got female. But I'm waiting to see these claws can't wait to put it into my uh, Indominus Rex pen. For those of you who follow me, uh, I've created Jurassic World uh, Island and, uh, and good news is I've also seen today a new island which I'll be working on in the future. Yes, uh, that's soon to be announced at some point. Uh, so we've got female heavy armor on the back, we know that. Uh, spines on the neck from the Rhygops. Uh, huge four claw hands. Don't know where they actually came from because I haven't seen any dinos uh, with four claw hands, so I never knew realized where that actually came from. Six and a half meters high, 15 meters long, uh, three meters wide. Yeah, but the one thing about the Indominus course is these ridge, ridge across the back. And of course, it changes color. I didn't know it was white, blue. Yeah, I think I think you've got the color right, guys, uh, in making this. And uh, I think what what will be crucial with this model is how the ana animations work. So that will be really cool uh, and how that works. So, yeah, that is really, really cool. Uh, 
So everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, next up are all the other type of creatures that you can find in the Jurassic Craft version 2. We've got uh, water creatures, we've got flying creatures, and we've got mammals. Uh, that'll be all in the next uh, episode. So again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed looking at all these new dinos. We can't wait to play with them. Uh, they're going to be truly fantastic. So again, please like, please sub, uh, please slap that like button. I will be much appreciative of that. Thanks very much indeed and bye bye.